Good day, this is a little information video in order to avoid a costly mistake. We have an e-bike right here with a drivetrain, with a chain drivetrain, so no belt drive. And you see the drivetrain in really bad condition, uh, really dirty. I get my gauge out, I measure the chain, just look what happens. So if you have seen my video about when you need to replace your bicycle chain, this is well overdue. I think I have explained in this video how this gauge is used. So I get it in with 0.075 millimeters, which means per link the chain is 0.075 millimeters longer than it should be uh, or than a new one. And you see the shorter gauge right here drops right in and even uh, you can move it back and forth and then you go to the longer one 0.1 millimeters and also this one drops right in and guess what you can also move it back and forth which means that this drive train is completely used and you'll need to replace everything which means chain a little sprocket in the front right here and the cassette in the rear and this can be potentially pretty costly because the cassette can cost you about uh, 100 swiss francs if it's an xt high performance one lightweight one chain also uh, if it's an e-bike specific one it can cost well up to 50 60 francs and then you uh, of course need to calculate work in so avoid this costly mistake right here drop by your mechanic regularly and have it checked and maybe leave a little tip or i don't know a little a little gift for dropping by regularly this way you can uh, really save up on a lot of drivetrain parts you can just replace your chain regularly and i think you can run up to four chains on a cassette before you need to replace it of course if you maintain it well always nicely cleaned and looped or waxed and this is really a behavior that i've seen a whole lot with clients especially e-bike using clients they buy their e-bike which can cost a whole lot and then they use it and they don't think that the parts actually wear out and are then shocked what it costs uh, to replace them and then you need to lecture them about drivetrain wear and how this is accelerated with an e-bike because you have a motor in front that adds a whole lot of watts to the force that uh, gets on the drivetrain and then if it is not maintained regularly and nicely it will of course wear out a lot quicker then you'll end up with a big hole in your wallet so just a little information video thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers i will of course do a video about that possibly even a giveaway so stay tuned for that see you in the next one